Gabe. Hello. Hello, Gabe. Hey, Meet hello. Gabe, the eastern black rhino. His species already in trouble, wiped out by poachers in Tanzania and only returned to Rwanda thanks to a conservation project led by the team here at Chester Zoo. We're destroying nature at a catastrophic rate. And it is no longer just about, those people who think it's about whales or the wonderful rhinos we have here or bees or trees. Actually, we're now seeing that our destruction of nature is affecting human health. It's not just about conservationists, it's about everyone. What we eat, what we drive, how we live our lives. We've all got to make some fundamental changes in our lives to actually w live with nature instead of destroying it. On average, global wildlife populations have fallen by 68% in 50 years. In some of the most dramatic cases, leatherback turtles declined by as much as 98%. The iconic African elephant's numbers have also dwindled by 98% in some habitats. And Chinese sturgeon numbers in the Yangtze River have dropped by 97%. The report warns deforestation pollution, intensive farming and the flames of climate change are putting entire ecosystems and therefore our own human existence at risk. There's no doubt, even though we might look here at the UK and think of this as a green and pleasant land, we actually have done a lot of damage to our own environment um, over many hundreds of years. So the UK is already one of the most nature depleted countries on the planet. The figures have been called Nature's SOS, a plea to change human behaviour. Back at the zoo, the Rothschild's giraffe may be mighty in stature, but is already endangered. And Western chimpanzee numbers are so low, through hunting and habitat loss, they're now classed as critical, making the tiny new arrival here, born this summer, a very big deal. Peter Lane, Five News.